We just showed you the video. Now we're going to speak to the people in the video. Carrie Packer was involved in that flood we had earlier with the car being filled with water. Carrie's on the phone. First of all, how are you and your husband? Second of all, uh, what happened there? Oh, um, it's actually just me. My wife is uh, Sicilian. She's uh, at home. But I'm uh, basically, I was just driving down the road and there was a little bit, what I thought was a little bit of water. And I just was driving through it like I would. And it swept my car uh, sideways and then almost hit me over. Um, and thankfully it didn't. It, and it probably swept me about half a mile into the woods. Uh, and as soon as, you know, the, the car was almost filled with water, I swept past the tree and I jumped out of the window and climbed up a tree. So I'm about 20 feet up a tree right now. Carrie, uh, Wait, you're still in the tree? I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm about 20 feet up a tree. What? Uh, okay. Yeah. What are you? What are you okay? I mean, how's your energy? You've been there for quite some time. Uh, no, I'm fine. I, I thankfully there's a nice certain tree here, and um, it's a little cold, but I did Boy Scouts for 20 years, and so I know how to keep my energy up and my and keep warm. So I'm doing fine. Okay, again, tell us, are there people, are, do you see some help? Is there someone near where you are? No, I mean, for as far as I can see around me, there's water. It looks like I'm in the middle of a lake. Uh, that's how bad the flooding is here. So I don't know how far I am from the road now, but I would guess about a half a mile, judging on how fast my car was being swept down. Amazing. And your car now is? Oh, uh, I could see the muffler in the back bumper about 20 minutes ago, but it's completely submerged now. Uh, Carrie, uh, you talked to your wife. What is she saying throughout all this? Um, <laughs> she's glad that I climbed a lot of trees when I was a kid. All right, tell our viewers again. Tell our viewers again exactly where you are, Carrie. Um, I am in the northeast corner of uh, Onion Creek Country Club. Near the intersection of Bradshaw Road and Lockhart Road, Old Lockhart Road. And um, there's a patch of trees here, I'm about 20 feet up a tree. Amazing. Okay, and again, how long roughly have you been up there? Uh, well, I got in my car at about 9.15. Uh, and it was about, you know, five minutes after driving that I got stuck in the water, so however long that's been. Well, we wish you all the best, and we hope we get you get the help right now. We're in so, touch. Yeah, we're trying yeah. to get you help out there. We're going we're gonna to try our best to continue to get you help, and uh, hang on there, and uh, we hope that the Boy Scout uh, training you've had, uh, you're putting it to good use right now. We wish you all the best. We're praying for you, Kerry. Thank you. Appreciate it. Again, he's in the Onion Creek area there, and that's an area that's seen a lot of rainfall this morning. And as Mark has been mentioning, all that water that we've seen flow from the east side of the viewing area has got, excuse me, from the west side of the viewing area, headed now to the east side of the viewing area because of Onion Creek. And that flooding water is going to continue to rise in that part uh, of the city. Uh, gosh, I have never in my life imagined. Uh, hopefully, they will get some help to that man as he's in a tree. In southeast Travis County, amazing. It seemed unbelievable when he said, oh, I'm still up here. I, yeah, but we really hope that, that some help heads his way.